Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to whip up a quick Middle Eastern salad. Now, no Middle Eastern meal is complete without salad on the table and it often takes the form of just a plate or a bowl of chopped raw vegetables. The names vary. We know it is Greek salad once we put some feta and red capsicum through it. It's also called Shirazi salad in Iran. It's uh, Israeli salad and in Turkey it's called shepherd salad. The ingredients vary a little bit. There's nearly always cucumber, tomato and onion, but you should feel free to make this your own. Add more or less of whatever you want. I love recipes like that. And also, there's no rules about how you chop everything up. Generally, a salad like this does not contain lettuce. And that's one of the things I like about it because it makes it easier to do ahead and to even keep leftovers for the next day because there's really nothing to wilt. Now we leave the seeds in for this because we want it to be nice and cool and refreshing. I'm just chopping that cucumber into large chunks. Tomatoes, I love these great tomatoes because they're ripe and flavorful all year round. But if it's summer and you can get them, you could use beautiful, ripe, large tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, ox hearts. With these, if they're large as these are, I tend to slice them into quarters. If they're a smaller one, I think half is enough. I don't like to leave them whole because when you bite into them, they tend to squirt everywhere. And that can be a bit unfortunate for either you or the person sitting opposite you. So we'll chop them up. I like radishes in my vegetable salad. Not essential, you do see them sometimes. They're nice and small like these, just into quarters. If they're larger ones, you could cut them into slices or into eighths. I might chop this one up into eighths just to make it go a little bit further. There's no rules. And you're not cooking it, so we don't even worry about everything being the same size. A bit of variation can be good with this. You could use red onion, the more mature spring onions, or I find the easiest thing is just green onions or shallots as we sometimes call them. Give them a bit of a trim, and for this one, we're not going Asian. I'm not going to slice them on the diagonal. I'm just going to cut them into little rings, and I think we'll go all the way up and include some of the green. Now, speaking of greens, I love herbs in this. Any of the Middle Eastern herbs will work well. I like young parsley leaves because then I'm just going to tear them. I'm not even going to chop them, and they've got the young stems attached. With the mint, I think it's better sliced. And if you stack them up on top of each other into a roll and then just slice them through that way, you break down that coarse middle stem and you can just throw the end bits away. Oh, that's such a beautiful aroma. It's so Middle Eastern. You could add some dill to this, some oregano, even a little bit of finely chopped rosemary if you wanted to, but you would want to chop it up quite fine. So once we have our vegetables in the bowl, I'm not even making one of those screw top jar dressings, just a squeeze of lemon juice over your fingers to catch any seeds. There we go. Lovely. A good drizzle of olive oil. Some lovely fresh salt flakes and good brine black pepper. Give it a toss. Yum. This, this salad can take quite a bit of dressing too because there's no leafy greens to worry about and that oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper are a big part of the flavor. And you know I'm gonna to wanna to lick my fingers. Enjoy.